Hi, I'm Nick Holmes. I'm Anders. And we're from Bloodbath, and you're watching Loud TV. Um, well, I mean, we, I don't know. It's it's uh, it's fun to do it. I mean, we, we you know we've done this is the first tour we've done. We usually do the festivals, uh, but it's like just more of that really. But it's just every day. So, uh, but yeah, yeah, it's 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 of course it's fun to do. Yeah, and it's nice to play to lots of people as well. You know. So. No, it's not as easy as that. It's not as black as white as that. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen with Catatonia right now. Uh, it's not really our concern now when we're on tour with Bloodbath. We try to do each thing at a time and we're having really fun doing this. And, you know, this was planned a long time ahead. So we're happy to fulfill this little tour. As Nick said, this is the first time we do it. It's an experiment and it's turning out great. You I mean, it's death metal for half an hour each day. It's pretty much what I like. Perfect proportion. And, uh, Ax, uh, Martin Axe and his uh, schedule clashed the tour, so we had to obviously, uh, and we put, you know, I asked Walter if he would do it, and, uh, you know, he's, he's very capable, he's a very capable drummer, so yeah, he fit the bill really well. He's doing a great job as well, I mean, superb, you know. So yeah, it's worked out very well. You know. Yeah, yeah, he's a, yeah, he's he's a very versatile player as well. He's uh, and he's a also a big Bloodbath fan as well, so that helps as well. So. Uh, I mean, we like to do things professionally, but it doesn't mean things have to be boring. You know, uh, we like to entertain ourselves, the audience. Have fun while doing it. Death metal, uh, you know, that goes way back for all of us, back to our teens. That was the music we enjoyed. Having, you know, uh, it's something that sticks with you. Uh, it will never really go away. So it's it's kind of cool to revisit that again, and that's a lot of fun to do that. So you know, 20 years, who would have known? You know, I love it. We're just obsessed about that sound, really, you know. It's all about the Sunlight Studio, that school, Thomas Cooksburg, uh, the HM2 Boss Metal pedal stomp thing. It's just, all that thing is just a, such a legendary classic sound, you know. Back when, when we really worshipped death metal, it was either like you had the, you know, kind of two divided scenes, like the American scenes and the European scenes. And, uh, well, I mean, of course you had great bands in Germany, Holland, UK as well, but the Swedish scene was really focused on that sound at the time. And uh, it's just something that's, uh, it's so special. So, you know, it's, we like to represent it these days. It's like when we, as you said, 20 years ago, 1998, when we did start Bloodbath, there was nobody doing that anymore, you know, having that sound really. So we just kept, you know, waving that flag. I mean, I remember when I when I listened to death metal, uh, the underground bands before they were they were on vinyl when Entombed were called Nihilist. Uh, the, I, I, the demos were always the best sounding demos with the Swedish bands. They always sounded the best. They had that really kind of the, the like you said the pedal did a hell of a lot for for it. Uh, but it, I always look forward to the Swedish bands because they they just sounded better. You know, they just had that sound. You know. I wrote some lyrics, yeah, we, I mean, the, and, Anders Jonas and Jokke, the new guitar player, they split, this, they write their own songs and then I will contribute to, to Anders and, and Jokke's songs and 
yeah, it's pretty much everyone writes their own thing. It's, uh, but if you sat in a room jamming, it's not productive. I don't know how bands can do that really. It's better to just go away. And, but yeah, we, we, you know, we just that's pretty much how we wrote it. And, and it's similar to the last album to, to a degree, yeah. I mean, if you start singing about the undead, you can't really talk about the lyrics that much, really. I mean, it's not you're going to go in depth about the undead. Really. It's, like, it's kind of what you see is what you get, really. It's, you know what I mean? it's, like, it's like when you do a kind of track by track breakdown. It's like, well, you know, this one's about zombies. What, what, what can I say? Yeah. You know, it's, it's not like <laughs> zombie drama or yeah. zombie action or <laughs> zombie comedy. It's just all of it in the same thing, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, you know, I mean, the gore topics, the, you know, they're all they all tick the boxes for for, for this this genre of music, and it fits it perfectly, you know. Mm. It's just great, you know, and you can have a lot of fun with it as well, you know. Zombie. The undead. <laughs> they're reacting. <laughs> oh, see? Holy shit! Turning it out. <laughs> there are some undertones of being serious, but I mean, you, I, I had a blast writing the lyrics. It's it's. It's fun as well, you know. It's all death metal. There's no boundaries, there's no rules, you can do whatever you want with it. And basically for me it comes just down to entertainment, you know. If you put on a horror flick on the TV or something, you do it for your own entertainment, you know. Same with Bloodbath. It's your own entertainment, so that's how I see it. Of course, I mean, you can do it... I mean, you have the power to do, you know, put a message through it and everything, but I wouldn't really focus on doing that through death metal then, you know, so. Yeah, well, all that's, yeah, I mean, all those, I mean, I'm a massive fan of horror films, so I have a constant running thing in my head where, I mean, you can, when you write a lyric, you can just basically write a mini li a mini horror story, you know what I mean, or, yeah, and, and, and like Anders said, it's, it's fun, there's, there's no, it's nothing serious in my, I don't, I have no kind of me metaphorical ideas or, or it's about the state of the country, so I, I don't care about that. When I write lyrics for Bloodbath, it's just, a, it's fun and it's, being a big fan of horror movies, you know, I like that escapist element mm. to it. You know. Yeah, I mean, Greg and myself, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, that's we. That's all we do, really, just watch, I mean, uh, probably hundreds a year. I forget what I've seen. I, I watch so many movies at, at home, it's like, because people say, oh, have you seen this film? And I can't even remember. E even if I enjoyed it, I would forget, because it's just many, many, many films, particularly horror films. I have a very low bar for, for I could watch a really crappy movie and still enjoy it, just because it's a horror film. Exactly. That's that. That's yeah. the beauty about that genre, the horror genre. You can watch a B movie and still be like blown away by it. Really. Yeah. Whereas what my wife would say, "This is what are you doing watching this?" <laughs> so I have to get a better film to watch with her. But then if it's like a, I, I'm like, uh, like the bar is low for for, for horror films, right? <laughs> I like the classics, you know. Omen, always probably up there, top three. All the Omen trilogy, you can't really touch that. That's like real horror to me. Uh, I like a lot of the new ones that comes out as well. The paranormal kind of, you know, I like that kind of stuff as well. Was it Hereditary? Have you seen that? Oh uh, no, I haven't seen that. Yeah, I that, saved that one. That's yet, a good so, one. Yeah, people's like you have to be in the right mood and you know for like, a, made, made the, the bunk. Yeah, 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 you know the darkness of the bus and all. For that, a mainstream yeah. movie, because it, it was at the cinema, Hereditary. Mm -hmm. I think that was a really. I was quite surprised how dark it was for a mainstream movie. I was right. quite shocked. Even that, that was like, that's one of the newest. That's, that's a good film. Yeah, yeah, right, I right. enjoyed that. And then, of course, you have all the slasher genre from the 80s. I love that too, you know, Friday the 13th, uh, Halloween, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, it's just a mishmash of different... Uh, ideally, I would like a movie with all of it in one, actually, you know. Uh, even some comedy elements, I like that too as well, like Fright Night or something like that. So, it's uh, just a lot of it. I mean, uh, yeah. But we were on about the... Um For me, the home invasion movies oh, yeah. are always the scariest because yeah. it could happen to you. And then when there's like a gang of guys coming, oh, yeah. and one of them's a psycho, mm -hmm. and that element is always, I, every time I see a home invasion movie, I'm like, oh God. Yeah. So I, I kind of like that aspect of, of, of what horror films, that the more things that you could happen to you, that always makes it more kind of real and a bit more scary, I think. Yeah. Uh, it's a guy called Eliran Kantor, and uh, we more or less gave him the title and uh, just wanted him to come up with a, a concept for the artwork, like a visual representation. Uh, yeah, and this is, this is the result. I think it's magnificent, you know. It kind of 
uh, needs to grow on you a little bit maybe because it's, it's very different artwork for a death metal band. It definitely stands out. But we think, you know, rather standing out than just, you know, another one like a bland standard thing you forget about in the bin immediately. So, um, yeah, it definitely worked out great. I think it's, it's horrifying, the artwork, actually. It's really uncomfortable. It's beautiful, you know? yet hideous. There you go. See? <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know if it's beautiful. Well, when I saw it, I was like, oh. Oh. oh, yeah, that, that, you see, yeah. Yeah, because it was like, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, I did that exact reaction. Right. Yeah, one of the stages, yeah. Uh, we look forward to that. That's, that's a great festival to play. Uh, it's always fun. We love all the festivals in the summer. That's that's how Bloodbath started out. So that's what we're familiar with. We love to do that. Looking forward to next summer doing all the festivals and especially Hellfest, Kickass Festival. It's up in the air. We'll see how this tour, you know, what it does to us, I guess. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there will be more live action for sure uh, in different shapes and forms for sure. Yeah. Uh, it's too early to say anything about that yet. Uh, we'll have to see next year what we sort out. There's a lot of things to be uh, solved and uh, we want to do it from the ground up. Uh, might sound dramatic, but uh, you know, you got to do it right or otherwise you'll regret it later. And uh, we've been keeping on for such a long time now that, uh, you know, you, you got to really be concerned about the next step and everything and make sure you still have the, you know, right vibe in the band and the will to carry on. It's uh, still there. I, I, I mean, I always say the same answer as well. If I didn't have Bloodbath, I would probably pick it up. But Bloodbath satisfies all that need for extreme metal. So I miss it in a way, but it's not like I'm desperate, you know, so. Uh, with Bloodbath, things are still so exciting, so that's taking priority on the extreme metal side for me. Mm. Yeah.